Hi guys, I just wanted to pop in real quick to let you know that the video you're about to watch was actually filmed in October 2018. This is the first house that me and my husband lived in, so I wanted to post it, even though it's a really old video, um, because it's kind of nostalgic for me to look back on. And I didn't post it back at the time that I filmed it because I didn't think it would be a good idea for me to put the outside of my house on the internet because as you will see in just a moment it looks pretty distinct um also just as a side note the only thing that really drastically changed from this tour is that we ended up getting like a nice really really small table to put in the dining room area um and that's really the only major change that happened between the time that this was filmed and the time we moved out so anyways, I hope that you enjoy this video and just seeing what my life was like almost two years ago. And I think that's it. Enjoy the video. Thanks. Hello everyone. Um, today I'm filming my house tour. Um, I'm filming this at the same time as my uh, house day at the house vlog or whatever I'm gonna call it. Um, so if you're wondering why I'm in the same shirt, it's because I'm filming it at the same time. Um, freaking <laughs> so I'm gonna just get into it so this is the shared courtyard um, there's some of our neighbors that's the entrance from the street um, and there's another one of our neighbors and if we come around here probably get a better view this is our house I think it's the most adorable thing it's a pre-world war one cottage that the workers um, who were going to build Balboa Park in San Diego that they used to live at when, you know, they were building. Um, I'm also going to do a plant tour today because I'm going to water the plants so it seems like a convenient time to do a plant tour. Uh, we're trying to grow some tomatoes. Let's go walk around here. It's the entrance to our house and this is some stuff I'm going to have to handle today when I'm doing my chores. Um, but yeah, so we come into the house, take off the shoes because we're a no shoes household. Because my husband really wanted to keep the floors as clean and as possible for when we move out, that way we can keep our deposit. So, this is the future dining area. We have um, his aunt is going to give us a table. We're going to put it in here so that way we can, you know, have a place to eat with when guests are over. Um, got my painting kind of area set up over here with my utility cart. And uh, once I get my art supply situation sorted, I'm going to kind of go through them probably today and donate some stuff. Um, I'll probably do some sort of art supply tour video. Um, got some of my artworks from a drawing class I did about a year ago. Let me see if I can close this. Or it might have been two years ago. I think it was two years ago. So yeah. A metaphorical portrait of the artist Ward. It's, you know, the singer of Royals. I really like her first album. Not, not as much a fan of her second album, but um, still a fan of her overall. Got some little plants here hanging out. Uh, orchid that my mom gave me that is about to die because I think she was watering it wrong. <laughs> um, this is a built-in cabinet with some, um, um, you know, plates from our wedding and then other things. And some of my cute little teacups. Let me see if I can open this up. Whoops. My grandma gave me this one. I bought some of these for a friend's bridal shower a long time ago. And my mom bought these for my wedding. They're so cute because, here, let me see if I can do that. The plate is a heart. And the cup kind of has a shape of a heart. It's like so cute. So I saved those from my wedding. Um, try not to accumulate too much stuff because this house is like, super tiny and we don't want to have to move a whole bunch of stuff when we eventually move out. Um, Alright, so we come over here. 
this was like a super awkward space that we had no idea what to do with because literally it was just like like an alcove they kind of pushed back like I have a feeling it actually was a closet with a door at some point and then they took the doors off and then there was like this awkward light here I'll show you right up there so I was just like what do we do with this um so we ended up deciding to make it into like kind of a coat room kind of deal um I bought that shelf on Amazon I will um try to remember to link to it in the description if I forget and you want to know please leave a comment um but yeah it was just funny because this um thing back here the two brackets uh i think they're a little bit more than 16 inches apart it's either that or this um area didn't have studs in the proper places for us to drill into them so my stepdad ended up coming over and um because we had drilled this in ourselves and then it fell over completely my stepdad came and he drilled this board into the studs found the drill spots right there um, and then he drilled the shelf into the board to add to the stability of it so that we can have a little bit more peace of mind. We, we obviously had way too much weight on it before. And so we try not to put too much weight on it now. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Some more plants over here. Um, a bag of trash from like my husband's car. I have no idea what this is. I'm waiting for him to go through it. I don't know when that's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, I bought this little like mid-century end table thing at a thrift store for literally $5. I was like, yes, please, thank you. Actually it was 10 and it was a half off day for whatever reason and so they gave it to me for five. I was like, this is the best ever. Um, so yeah. Shelves that are in progress, I need to stain them, so that might be in my daily vlog today um, if I have time to do it. Um, I, actually, not a daily vlog, what am I saying? That might be in my vlog today. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we still need to drill these into the brackets, um, so we don't have really anything on them yet, um, but soon we will. My glitter deer that I bought during Christmas time at Walmart, I just thought it was awesome and wanted to hang it up forever so um it's just made of plastic with glitter stuck glued on it um so yeah so my husband kind of put this little shelf area together um he had a bunch of milk crates from when he was living with his mom and we have a bunch of books and we basically just decided to turn them into like a little shelving unit. Um, I'm probably going to move all his academic books down to that shelf because they're super heavy and if you can see it's like it's like bowing downward because of the weight um, so I'll probably move that down. Um, yeah. We have some <laughs> guitars, a ukulele, and a violin. Um, this actually is up here because there used to be a guitar here and we drilled this into the stud. We know for a fact we drilled it into the stud, but the wood gave out and so the, it, you know, fell forward and we couldn't put the guitar on there anymore because of the weight. So we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do about that. Um, yeah, this is an abstract piece from a painting class that I never finished. Um, a microphone that I don't use that often. Uh, I might get rid of it, I don't know. Um, my husband's camera, knickknacks, <laughs> our internet modem, uh, studio lights. This is just kind of a mishmash of stuff right now that we are trying to figure out what to do with. This is like a practice drum that my husband likes to fiddle with every now and then. Yeah, this is my guitar that I just got back from my dad after he had it for like years and years and years, so I haven't played it in a really long time. Um, and a guitar amp. I think there's another violin in here. Um, one of my piece lilies that I desperately need to trim off the dying leaves. Um, that's not doing so good, but overall it's pretty happy. Um, and then my, my camera case, I don't ha this is a, a Canon, but I stole my husband's Nikon case because I didn't have one and I didn't want to buy one. Um, our little blanket basket thing that I got from Target. This is only like $20, which is surprising from Target because they have a lot of really expensive and overpriced stuff sometimes. And I'm like, what? 
the heck. Um, not worth $70. Dad. Yeah. Tiny Ikea table. I think this is only like, this might be 18 inches by 18 inches. Um, it works pretty good for our space because as you can see from right here, we don't have a lot of space. Although sometimes we move this couch or, you know, back that way to give us a little bit more room, but yeah, so this is our kind of little office area. We don't have a TV and we actually use our Mac computer as a TV. We just watch like Hulu and Netflix on it and then we can watch it here on the couch and that works out pretty well for us. Um, I kind of like it that way because uh, I just really don't... <laughs> I hate TV rooms to be honest like it just it seems so weird to have an entire room centered around this one item and it's like you know you call it a living room but like or like a sitting room or a whatever and you don't really like talk to people in that room you just sit together and watch TV it's like I don't know it I have feelings about it <laughs> um yeah it's not so sad this shelf again kind of a mishmash of stuff that uh we need to like kind of get sorted and looking nicer um because my husband just you know smushed a bunch of stuff on there um this i like actually it's a um this is a project that i did for a typography class uh you had to redesign a book cover the, um, and basically like make spreads for it and stuff like that. And I really ended up liking this cover. Um, you know, it, I feel like it really pushed me creatively to, to think outside of what I would normally do. And also I feel like I formula formatted it like so nice actually. Um, they had obviously some critiques, but overall I think it's good. And, um, I saved the, the file so that in the future I can make other book covers. Okay, come back over here. Laundry I need to do. Um, here is my kitchen. So, I, we think that this was kind of like retrofitted. I don't know how this um, house was before, but I think this was probably like added on or something. Um, so yeah, here's our fridge. And, oh, I was cleaning out this diffuser before I started this. So I should probably, like, finish that. Um, yeah. Just an average kitchen. And here's our cast iron skillets. I got them from Walmart. They're just Lodge brand. Um, I got this one. This is a griddle on this side, and on the other side it's a grill. Um, we love these. We keep them out, like, all the time. And we use them all the time. Um... Yeah. And then for the storage space, this is kind of a mess at the moment, but this looks a little bit better. Um, we just, we don't have any cabinets in here, as you can see. Um, we have like one cabinet above the stove. And so basically I just keep like cookbooks up there or just like random stuff that we don't use that often. Cause I don't really think to look up there very often when I need stuff. Um, so all of our plateware and stuff like that goes up here. I'm gonna get another one of these from Walmart and put it here so that I can like kind of organize this better. Um, and then we have some just like kind of pantry items or like, you know, we have a Nutribullet that we don't use as often because our his mom, um, my husband's mom gave us a, a Ninja blender because my husband loves to make smoothies for the morning. Um, yeah, and she also gave us a Ninja coffee maker, which is awesome. I like it because it can do like, you know, single cups or like a full pot. Um, so I like having that option. And then we keep some stuff up here. Got our bananas, lunch bag. This is my coffee, um, cereal. I'm getting kind of hungry. I might eat some cereal in a minute. And then come over here. Got laundry that's being done. The, uh, washer and dryer, my husband's bicycles. Um, this one is not, you know, usable right now because it needs some repairs, but we might take it down to a bike shop pretty soon and get it fixed up so that we can go on rides together. I'm not a terribly active person, so I won't go on rides too often, but, um, you know, either that or he can, you know, let his friends use it. Um, and here, 
We have some various items. This is some gardening stuff that I use. My husband's bike stuff and other athletic type things and then more gardening stuff. And then this is where I keep uh, water for um, my plants. I let it kind of sit here so that the chemicals can evaporate. Um, and then after, once they've evaporated for a couple days, then I can use it for my plants because we have very hard water here. Um, and I don't want to put that in my plants. We have some um, board games and then various, like this is kind of where we keep some tools and stuff and like the duster um, and my, my tarp for when I need that for painting. Um, this is my husband's watchmaking station. He hasn't used it in a while, um, but he just needs like some, I don't know, watchmaking chemicals or something for cleaning watches and then I'm sure he'll be back at it pretty soon. Then we got like my pantry. It's again, kind of a mess. I kind of want to get, um, I bought some of these from Walmart and I want to get one to put up here so I have a little bit more storage space and it doesn't feel quite as cluttered. Um, yeah, this is where we get keep all our spices and like teas and honey and sugar and flour and all that kind of stuff and oils and you know just things that you use for making food. Um, yeah, and then we have our pans and uh, pots down here, um, casserole dishes, all that stuff, and then another casserole dish that his mom gave us. Um, but I don't, I don't have a use for it that often because it's just me and my husband. So. Um, yeah, I probably would only use it for like parties and whatnot. And this is above my stove. Like you can see like this, the crock pot that I got came with like some extra mini crock pots that you can take to work. Um, this is kosher salt that we use for cleaning our uh, cast iron, which I found is the most effective way to clean it. And um, I don't know if anybody wants a video about that. I can make a quick video about that. I might post it on my other channel because um, I have another channel where I don't post art related stuff. So I'll probably put it there. Um, and you know, the two cookbooks I have is what I got right now. Um, yeah. And then for our kitchen, we got silverware other cooking utensils and random things and knives and whatnot. This is towels and um, the little oven mitts and things. And then bowls and stuff that we use like for baking specifically and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then under the sink you got the generic stuff that you would find under a sink. And then in my, I think this is a, is that a real drawer? Oh yeah. I don't know why for a second I thought that wasn't a real drawer. <laughs> yeah. And then we have cutting boards. Um, like uh, I got Pyrex because since we have a very small amount of storage space, I wanted to get things that can do multiple things. So I like this because you can use it for mixing. You can use it for um, cooking and baking, not cooking, don't use it for cooking. You can only use it for baking <laughs> and then you can use it for storage because they come with lids. So I like that. Um, we have our bread pan and we have the crock pot and cookie sheets, you know, all the stuff. Um, and then back there, that's the door to the alleyway behind us. So I'm not really going to go out there. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I was totally about to end the house tour in the kitchen, and then I remembered that I forgot to show you the bedroom. So let's do that. So the bedroom is right across from the front door, and it's through this beaded curtain, which I love, and we'll totally leave the link to it in the description. Um, I will note, however, that these beads keep coming off on the bottom, so I think I might have to like start super gluing these other ones or something so that they don't come off um because these i think keep the strands from getting tangled because it weighs it down anyways besides that 
through the curtain. Um, so here is the room. It is a situation, I know. Um, it's very small. That's me. That's the other side of the room. That's like, I don't know, five feet away? Something like that? Um, yeah, so we're, we're trying to make do. We're still trying to figure this area out, um, because the more we get rid of stuff, um, because we both moved into this house from our parents' homes, and we still have stuff at our parents' homes, um, although we have gotten pretty much all of it except for like a few things over here. Um, so basically everything that we can't figure out what to do with tends to go over there, um, <laughs> in this area. So, well, let me explain a little bit about this area. Um, we got a loft bed because we wanted to be able to utilize the space, um, in our home better because we don't have a lot of space and one of the things like you know my husband really loved this desk he you know wanted to keep it didn't want to just throw it out I love my desk out there you know that one um, when neither of us wanted to throw our desks out so what we did was we got the loft bed we put our desk underneath um, once we get this area sorted it's gonna be more of like a little study nook kind of area or reading area um and you know my husband kind of really wants to put drums in here but i don't think that's going to work because there's no space <laughs> yeah i made my bed for you guys by the way just because you know i try <laughs> but we don't typically make our bed every morning so i you know just enjoy this um uh, most people ask if you know we happen to hit the fan. We typically don't, except for when we're just like getting out of bed in the morning and we just jolt forward and sometimes we hit it. But most of the time, it's not really an issue. We're actually considering taking the fan blades off and then, you know, putting them back when we move out, obviously, um, just to make it a little bit easier. But, you know, if we're not sitting in bed and we want to use the fan, then it's nice to have it there because we can still use it. Um, yeah. So, loft bed, I like it. How do we get in bed? We use that stool, put ourselves up there, you know, just a little, little hop over kind of, kind of deal. <laughs> yeah, so these are, these are dressers. Um, we had a lot of clothes and not a lot of space to put them in. Okay, let me, I haven't shown you this yet, okay? Behind these curtains is our closet space. Okay, I'm just gonna set this up right here real quick. So this is our closet space. And this is our closet space. It's that big. It's like three feet wide. <laughs> so I tend to have like, I have a lot of skirts and dresses and stuff like that. So, you know, I take up about this much like probably three quarters of the, of the closet and then my husband has like the other quarter of the closet for like suits and stuff like that um so yeah that's that situation so we both had a ton of clothes and it was just all piled up all over the place uh we had clothes all across the dresser um, and we finally managed to fit like pretty much all of our clothes in the space that we have. Um, and we decided to get dressers obviously because we have basically no closet space. So yeah, that's the story of why we got these dressers. They're from Ikea. They're only like, I think, 100 bucks each, which is not a bad price. Um, so yeah, uh, I got like, this is some stuff that I need to condense. Um, this is pretty much mostly nail stuff and some makeup items and I kind of want to get rid of most of it because I don't really do my nails a lot as you can see right here. I do them like once or twice a year if that. Um, you know, personal care products. We got our change jar for extra change and then this, this, this is all just like random junk. Like I got post-it notes in here, random crafting tools or supplies and then like that's just random junk in there to be honest. Um, this is a jewelry box that my aunt gave me after she passed away. She left it to me in her will. Um, and 
yeah so I keep it to me because it's I keep it because it's very near and dear to my heart um so yeah and those are some plushies that I got Steven Universe plushies from Comic-Con they keep falling over I need to figure out what to do with these but yeah these are some that that's just calm down calm down uh yeah so let's see what else is going on under here this is my fern i wanted to hang it up in the bathroom but we don't have a drill and when we were going to hang it up in the bathroom my husband was like i don't know it might be too heavy so we ended up hanging it here underneath the bed and we just kind of like looped it onto one of the the bars okay i'm gonna make this quick because my camera is about to die um this is basically just random junk uh, these are parts to a Gundam that my husband was building and has kind of paused on that and other random things that need to be sorted through filing cabinet um, and this is my bathroom shower there's the sink toilet stuff okay well my battery died just a moment ago so I guess that's the end of the house tour um, if you enjoyed it, let me know. And if you didn't like seeing this on my channel, let me know. And I will be back with more. Okay, bye-bye.